Well, I mean, I think the most important issue in relation to carbohydrates is the quality of carbohydrate. Because, of course, if you want to reduce carbohydrate totally, then that's going to help lower blood glucose levels, but you're going to lose out in a number of respects. You're going to lose out on the benefits of high fiber, which are considerable, uh, and a number of carbohydrate foods have got a lot of good nutrients. And personally, I don't think there's any good evidence that reducing carbohydrate in the long term produces benefits. So the issue really becomes quality. Um, uh, and the big issue is how are we going to define carbohydrate quality? Well, personally, I think fiber is an important marker, but there's no single marker in my opinion. I think the other uh, issue, which is an important one, because we talk about whole grain, that's another marker, is something that we have been interested in from a research perspective, and that is the degree of processing. Um, if one takes a whole grain food, which is generally regarded as having health benefits, and you highly process it, which you can do and still be within the definition of whole grain, you're going to get a very different metabolic outcome from a whole grain food that's actually quite whole grain, uh, that is minimally processed. Which brings me really to, I think, a particularly important uh, criterion, which is processing. And I think uh, if you're going to go for a single criterion, to say that it should be minimally processed carbohydrate is not a bad one. So it really is a whole range of criteria that I think we have to use, uh, including glycemic index, which is um, a useful food, particularly for people with diabetes. I think that um, what I say to patients, which I think is probably the best answer I can give you, is that the nature of carbohydrates is important. I am against very low carbohydrate diets, and I could expand on that as to why I think very low carbohydrate diets, but a range of carbohydrates within a reasonable range I think is fine. I think if I were to go to one criterion, I'd probably say minimally processed. If I was go f going to go for two, I would say high fiber minimally processed. With um, low glycemic index being a reasonable one, provided other criteria uh, apply. And I always use the example of a patient of mine who told me that um, he liked ice cream. And um, I said, but you know, is that particularly good? He said, yes it is, because it's got a low glycemic index. And when I said, well, actually, there are a few other aspects that may not be so good, he said, well, why did you tell me low glycemic index was useful in that case? So it's got to be a package deal. I mean, high fiber alone is not going to do it, and whole grain's not going to do it. High fiber is not going to do it, as you say, because so many high fiber foods are now high in sugar and high in calories generally, and indeed, many whole grain foods are now highly processed.